Hi everyone, welcome to my shed. My name is Jack. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to do block printing. This is in collaboration with the Hive Shrewsbury, who are a great arts, music and wellbeing charity doing work across Shropshire, Telford and Ricking. I've been working with them for a number of years and you can find out about their projects um, on their website hiveonline.org.uk and you can also find out how to donate as well. So to do a block print we need some paper to do our basic design and we need a block. I've got two types of blocks here, just a piece of thick cardboard or a piece of MDF. Either's fine but if you're using something like the MDF it'll be a bit more durable and last a little bit longer. We'll also need a pair of scissors and we'll need some foam. This foam that I've got is self-adhesive so it's got a sticky, um, sticky uh, tape on the back of it. If you can't find the, the self-adhesive foam, you can just buy normal foam and glue it down with PVA. So to start, what we want to think about is what's our design going to be. So a good idea is to start off by drawing the shape of your block onto a piece of paper, just so that you can start to play about with ideas of design. Today, I'm just gonna have a look at doing some geometric designs um, and I'm gonna draw a few different patterns out. Okay, so I've done a few different designs there, and this is the one that I'm going to turn into a block print. It's worth having a go at doing lots of different designs before you start making your block print, just to get your um, patterns and shapes worked out. I've gone for quite a geometric pattern, but you could go for something to do with nature, or you could use cityscapes or landscapes. The, you can use any types of themes um, as your inspiration. So once you've got your design, you're ready to then start working on your block. So I'm using a sheet of cardboard for my block. It's quite a thick cardboard, um, so it's quite durable. So what you need to do then is you can either transfer your design onto the um, foam. And the way that you would do that is draw around your block onto the foam. and then draw out your design onto there, or you can just individually cut out each little piece. As mine's quite geometric, um, and I'm, I'm not trying to be totally accurate, I'm gonna just cut uh, out the design bit by bit. So the way to do it is to, using a pair of scissors, just start cutting the foam And then you can use your drawing as a bit of a guide for where certain details in your pattern are. So that when you're cutting, you've got a rough idea of what to cut and what not to cut. And then when you've got your pieces of foam, like I've got a few here, you can then start attaching them onto your board. Now, because this is double-sided, uh, this, this foam's got double-sided tape on the back of it, I can just peel the back cover off and then attach it onto the board. If your foam hasn't got any double-sided tape on, you'd have to use some PVA glue, which is fine and works just as well. But before you print, if you've used PVA glue, you need to make sure that the glue's fully dried. So I'm now just using the pieces that I've cut, copying the pattern that I've designed, designed to build up the image. So as you can see, there's my final design done. I've decided not to put these little dots on just because I thought it'd be a little bit too cluttered. So I'm now ready to do a print with it. If you're doing this at home and you're using PVA to glue your foam down, you'll need to leave it until the PVA is fully hardened before you do a print. 
So I'm going to use a roller to put a, to apply my printing ink. If you haven't got a roller at home, you can just use a paintbrush, um, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. If you're using a roller, you need a piece of perspex or a tile or something like that to put the ink on. I'm using printing ink here, but you can use just acrylic paint if you haven't got any ink. So if you're using ink, you need to roll, roll the yeah, ink the out the roll the ink out first. And then you can, using the roller, apply the ink onto the foam. Now you want to get a good covering of ink on the foam, so going in different directions is a good idea. And you might need to go over the foam a couple of times and keep refilling your um, roller with ink. If you're doing it with a brush, it's the same principle. You're getting some paint on the brush and painting over the top. The only thing you might find is if you're using a brush, it might be a little bit more difficult to get an even coat over the whole print and you might find it a bit slower as well. So when your block is fully print fully coated, you can then um, do a print from it. Now Depending on what ink you're using, me, might mean that you can do a print onto fabric. Um, I'm just going to do a print today onto paper. So the way we do it is get your paper lined up. Work out where you want the print to go. I'm going to have a print right in the middle of my piece. And then slowly apply it down and push it onto the surface. Now you want to make sure that this is fully printed. You can use things like a wooden spoon or another roller if you've got a clean roller to apply some pressure. I'm gonna use a wooden spoon. When I'm doing a print, I always keep one hand on the block just to make sure it doesn't move and then I'm applying pressure with the other hand. You want to go over the whole area of the block make sure you've got a nice print coming through the whole piece. When you think you've put enough pressure through, you can then peel off the block. So once you've done your first print, you can then do more prints if you want to. And the way to do more prints is to ink your plate back up, which is getting ink onto the roller again and then going over the whole plate to put some fresh ink on there. And then it's the same process again of applying that onto a piece of paper, rubbing um, and then peeling it away to get a nice print. If you've finished for the day and want to tidy it away, or if you wanted to do a print in a different colour, you then need to wash your plate. As this is cardboard, it's a bit more tricky to wash because you don't want to get it too wet because it will start to crinkle. But you can kind of take the excess ink off and then just leave it to dry. When it's fully dried, you can then use it again. So what you can see there, I've done a block print of quite a simple geometric shape. When you're doing this, you can do a more complicated shape or you could do a design that's perhaps more of an image, something based on nature or a cityscape or something like that. This is a simple one um, block print with one colour. We'll do a video later on about how to do multiple colours and how to do it so it repeats. Hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing your block prints.